you want to be happy. I'm agreeing to certain things. Nothing I think you're too immature to, to know this. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Every relationship has difficult moments, but the 90 Day Fiance conflicts are always on a whole other level. In today's video, we'll look at some of the most intense fights between couples, family members, and other couples, packed with excessive screaming and illogical reactions. So, let's roll. Dinner Table Smackdown. Pedro and I are spending a lot more quality time together. Pedro and Chantel were such a hit in season five that they got their own spinoff show, The Family Chantel. Chantel's parents, on the other hand, proved to be nightmare-in-laws, while the Everett family provided intriguing drama. From the outset, Karen and Thomas grilled Chantel's fiance, and Everett's family had doubts about Chantel's Dominican Republic fiance. The tension reached its peak during a family meal. It's okay. Okay, okay, no. okay excuse I me. Again, okay, you can move the chair. You can put. No, move. she's no, not going no, to. Why? She's going to sit there. When Pedro attempted to switch places with his younger sister Nicole in order to assist her, River, Chantel's brother, was enraged by the move and hit a light, causing Pedro to burst and start swinging punches at him. The entire family quickly joined the argument, resulting in a full-fledged fist fight that had to be broken up by the producers. The Everett family was thought to be both entertaining and stressful by many viewers. I'd like to get to the bottom of this. I would like to know what Nicole's motives are to take advantage of our daughter. Jess and her shoe. I fell in love with you. I love you. Ooh. You have big hands. Jess Caroline and Colt Johnson portrayed a relationship that left many viewers confused. Fans were baffled as to why Jess, a fiery Brazilian beauty, went for Colt, Larissa Lima's ex-husband. This led many viewers to believe that Jess and Colt's romance was staged for the show. Jess is way different than Larissa. She's young, she's fun, she likes to have a good time. However, after discovering the extent of her partner's deceptions, Jess appeared genuine in her rage towards Colt. Jess tossed her shoes at her cheating boyfriend after a hotel quarrel, and things got heated. She then went on to label Colt a liar and insane, revealing that she had proof he was still talking to his cheating girlfriend, Vanessa Guerrera. He had stated previously to Jess that he was not involved with Vanessa. When Colt followed Jess, she pushed him, but many viewers thought he should have given her space instead of cornering her. You lie! What are you talking about? Look at this! What? Go, look at this! I can't read it. Right! Danielle confronting Jabali. I am going to guarantee I will get your ass deported because you're a user! Danielle Jabali had a tense relationship with her ex-husband, Mohammed Jabali. Before joining his fiance in America, fans were unsure if Jabali had feelings for Danielle. He fled to Miami after discovering the extent of his wife's financial fraud and debt apparently with another lady. When Danielle concluded that she and Mohammed were truly over, she sought down her husband in Miami and lashed out at him. Danielle threw a binder of papers at her husband, claiming that it contained chats he had with other women, as well as financial receipts, while accusing Mohammed of using her. The cops soon arrived to put an end to the drama. Among fans of the show, the moment has become legendary. I'm gonna call police on her. You backstab me this whole time! I need police as soon as possible. Meltdowns of Anfisa. You just haven't been honest with me. Well, I'm telling you now. You should have told me before. I've always been honest with you, and you always lied to me. Anfisa Arkipchenko is one of the show's most controversial personalities. Her ex-husband, Jorge Nava, was the target of many of the Russian firecrackers' verbal outbursts. Hey. What? Where are you going? I'm going to get my wallet. Bring me my red back with my makeup. Anfisa, on the other hand, went too far when she kicked Jorge out. Her actions drew a lot of flack from the audience. She has now separated herself from the franchise, concentrating on her fitness career. You say that you're gonna leave and this and that, like... Yeah, I'm gonna leave because I'm tired of you. Crying in the club. Jonathan and Fernanda had a memorable fight at the club. 
which made 32-year-old Jonathan think about his friend's opinions about 19-year-old Fernanda who was too young for him. Fernanda had a breakdown when she saw Jonathan talking to, and maybe dancing, with another woman. You Mickey, no! Just yeah. you dancing with other girls! You I wasn't Mickey. dancing with her, I thought I couldn't dance with her. She swiped at her fiance and splattered a drink all over the dance floor. The brawl continued in the parking lot, with an angry Fernanda demanding that Jonathan prove he wanted to be with her, despite Jonathan's claims that he was just telling the girl that he was engaged and cannot dance with her. Podcast fight on yacht. You're emotional. Do you hear what she's saying? Stop You're emotional. No, because it's not Becky, Stop crying, Libby. 90 Day Fiance has been riddled with cliche drama, particularly in the story involving the Podcast family. The tensions seem to rise rapidly. Many people expected Andre Castrovet to fight his brother in law, Charlie, but it was Andre's wife, Libby, who was involved in the brawl. When Libby and her sister Becky got into a fight during a family yacht outing that went horribly wrong, the two women had to be restrained. Libby has yeah, always been a what he's doing? Yeah, I looking for Shut up, I didn't Becky. see it. Shut up, bitch. Don't do that to me. Shut Are you up. kidding me? When the pothead siblings insulted Andre, Libby defended him fiercely. Fans often find the Pothast family tacky and criticize their behavior, so the entire yacht incident left viewers unsatisfied. Many people were not surprised to see family members turn to physical violence, knowing that members of the family had previously been arrested. We can smooth this thing out. Like, that's what I want to see. Morocco Meltdown. My family's been pushy to know what Azin's family emergency was. Nicole and Azan were a couple that appeared in both seasons four and five and were noted for their drama. Nicole, 22 from Florida, went to Morocco to visit her 24-year-old fiance, and the American made it clear that she was not willing to accept their cultural differences. So did you like the market? Yeah, it's not like a Marrakesh, but it was a nice market. Nicole refused to understand that intimacy in public was not appropriate in Morocco. Honestly. When I go to hug you, don't tell me no. Yeah. Like, I can understand things, okay? But you cannot just stop me from everything. I know, but you can hug me if you want to. It's okay, so I'll hug you. Yeah, it's okay, so you can. So don't push me I away. didn't. And she became very angry when he asked her not to touch him in public and refused her physical advances. Last time I was here, he would tell me to, like, shut up or say something mean and rude. Things just kept getting worse since then, leaving the pair on shaky ground. In spite of the fact that the couple's engagement was called off recently, their love lasted longer than fans imagined. I don't want my daughter to grow up and think that's okay to be talked to that way, you know? Louise threatened to call the cops. You're not calling the cops, dude, stop it. Turn off the music, this is my speaker and nobody wants to hear this A couple from season five, Molly and Louise were a mismatched couple. And after the couple had a quarrel, Louise locked himself in one of Molly's guest rooms and played music very loud. He's locked himself in the guest bedroom and he won't talk to me. I never thought in a million years that this would come to this. This is not the person I met and I'm fed up with this Molly was furious and picked the lock on her own house, yelling at Louise for his rude actions. She began pushing him and smashing doors as soon as he left the room. Louise threatened to call the cops as a result of his behavior and forced her to flee her home and stay with a friend. Although the couple is now split, Louise continues to live in the United States. Parenting is hard. Devin, you think I'm just a liar? Were you not thinking about me? A fight arose between Devin and her mother, Alicia, versus her now ex-husband, Jihoon, and it was one of Devin Clegg's worst moments on the show. After Devin and Alicia claimed that he wasn't paying enough attention to Devin's daughter with a previous husband. When spending money when I was pregnant, asking you to save money to help me. I was being safe as spend, spend money for, for only me, only me. Why? Alicia exploded at Jihoon after he was accused of allowing Drusilla, a three-year-old, to run away while under his care. Viewers were shocked by Alicia's behavior and Devin's willingness to take her mother's side, allowing her husband to be taunted. Thank you very much for watching the video. 
do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.